aren't these cute? And aren't these pretty? But what are your panties doing to your kitty? Your underwear can make your veg happy as a clam, or it can really miff your muff. So the next time you buy a pair, here are three things your veg wants to say to your skivvies. Well, we're here with Dr. Tesler, OBGYN, and we're gonna talk about the topic of underoos. Okay, first thing, cotton they keep saying is so breathable. Well, why is that important? It's not like I'm putting it over my mouth. Your vagina does need to breathe, not okay. quite as much as your mouth, <laughs> but it does. You have normal bacteria and normal yeast living in your vagina mm -hmm. in happy harmony until something throws it off. Oh. And then something overgrows, and then it's either yeast or bacteria. You can have a yeast infection or bacterial infection or a variety of other things. You gotta let your vagina breathe. What's your first thing that you think about when you buy a pair of panties? Um, if they look good. <laughs> Ooh, it's probably the material and the cut. Mm -hmm. Style, but mostly how it's gonna fit. Is it gonna be comfortable? Um, are they gonna cover everything or am I gonna have wedgies all day? Well, what's the best kind of underwear that will keep me nice and cool or, or dry? Like, a, should I have a sponge down there? <laughs> all cotton underwear is the best. Just keep it cotton. Fully cotton, all cotton. Not just cotton crotch, all cotton. Even in the butt. Even in the butt. So Everywhere. is it better if I go back to what my grandma used to wear, which is she had these giant bloomers <laughs> that covered pretty much from the top of her waist down to her upper thigh? Um, I don't know ginormous panties, <laughs> okay. but all cotton. So I can't wear my nylons. Um, you could. People who um, have for work, they have to wear tights so or they have to wear hose or whatever. I generally tell them to cut the crotch out of the... Crotchless. Crotchless. Oh, so I can go commando Be free. to bed. Correct. Under my big onesie. I can just sure. go free as a bird. Free as a bird. It's the best way to be. Should I put my legs open in front of the window and crack it a bit so it gets a nice natural Feel breeze? free. Yes, sure. <laughs> That actually sounds very restful. Yes. Ever go commando? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I hope it's right now. No, actually not. Never. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm disappointed. Do you ever go commando? All the time. Yes! Yeah. Everyone else is lying. Of course. They no. They're saying no. They're lying. They're lying. Who doesn't like to be free and open and feel the world and the breeze flushing through? Now what about if I have an underpants on down there and it's just rubbing and chafing my little area? Is that a bad thing? So yeah, I mean if you're wearing underwear that's either too tight or rubs you in the wrong way, then you need to get rid of them. So like a thong, for example, now is that good for me or is that bad for me to have that thing down there, like a slingshot in my butt? <laughs> what really is the issue is that it, they're usually not cotton, so your vagina's not breathing, mm -hmm. and sometimes there can be rubbing from the back to the front, which we do not want. Oh. Only front to back. Oh, because in the back is stuff that can bring, and then it brings it to the front. Right, and then you get an infection. Oh my goodness. Yes. Do you know the difference between a thong and a G-string? Uh, no. No, I don't. No, nobody, nobody does, it's a mystery. G-string when it's like, it's like an actual, it's like a T almost. Why isn't it a T-string? <laughs> thong just goes in your butthole. Okay. The G-string is like a string that's flossing your butthole. That's really, I think that's it. Oh, all right. Granny panties, G-string, it's really up to you. So the next time you put on a pair of panties, take a minute and appreciate the job they're doing to keep your hot box healthy and happy. Oh, speaking of box, if you have questions or comments, put them in my box. My inbox, that is. <laughs>